everyone. I'm Crystal Cruz. Another twist in the case against Millinder Jenny Cud. It all involves evidence in her case. Her team tried to block a protective order by the prosecution that keeps some of the evidence from being released to the public. Cud wants it out in the open, but the prosecution wants it sealed up tight. The in the end, the judge denied Cud's attempt to bring it to light. Tatum Gwynn has been making sense of these new court documents. Tatum. Yeah, Crystal, the new documents at their most simple um, is how each case or how each team plans to build their case and what parts should be protected and should not. As we reported last week, the District of Columbia U.S. Attorney's Office filed protective orders earlier in the month that would keep certain pieces of pot potential evidence within the courtroom only accessible to the defense and prosecution. Jenny Cudd's team filed an opposition saying that it would prevent Cudd from having a fair and public trial. One portion of the document state that the true goal of the protective order is to create a public information blackout. It goes on to state that it will give the government the ability to control the narrative of what happened on January 6th and would stop the defense from disagreeing with the prosecution in any public forum. However, federal judge Trevor McFadden's office filed paperwork just today in support of the protective order. New documents state the protective order is designed to ensure the defense has liberal access to all discovery while protecting sensitive information from being released. They go on to say that it was clear Cud's team offered no constructive alternative to the proposed order. They just opposed a protective order of any kind. Now something else to note, the defense compared Jenny Cud to Oliver Twist, putting them in a position to beg the government to reveal evidence to the public to clear her name. An order has still not been issued on any of this. We will continue to keep a close eye on it all. Crystal.